Welcome to my channel All in One A1 A defense update of the day US Navy installs laser weapon system Odin on USS Dewey destroyer the U.S. Navy recently installed the first optical dazzling interdictor, Navy, ODIN, a laser weapon system that allows a ship to counter unmanned aerial systems. The first system was installed on the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer USS Dewey, DDG-105, during her recently completed dry docking. Odin's development, testing and production was done by Navy subject matter experts at Naval Surface Warfare Center, NSWC, Dahlgren Division in support of Program Executive Office Integrated Warfare Systems. Their work on the laser weapon system known as LAWS positioned them to be designated as the design and production agent for Odin. During his recent visit on USS Dewey, Mr. James F. Schitz, Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Research Development and Acquisition was impressed with the rapid progress made by the team. Jitz stated, This is a great example of our organic talent at the Warfare Centers all working together with ship's company to deliver a system which will provide game-changing capability. Bravo Zulu to the entire Odin team on being mission-focused and delivering lethal capability to the warfighter. Going from an approved idea to installation in two and a half years, Odin's install on Dewey will be the first operational employment of the standalone system that functions as a dazzler. The system allows the Navy to rapidly deploy an important, new capability to the Navy's surface force in combating unmanned aircraft systems UAS, threats. Rear Admiral Ron Boxall, who heads the Surface Warfare Directorate for the Chief of Naval Operations, and Michael Griffin, the U.S. Defense Undersecretary for Research and Engineering, have become champions of directed energy weapon research at the Pentagon, ensuring the budget has swollen to $1.1 billion in recent years. Griffin opinion, we are no more than a few years away from having laser weapons of military utility, Griffin said in November 2018, according to Defense One. He noted that the present level of development of the technology was within a factor of two or three of being useful on a battlefield, airplane or ship. We need to have 100 kilowatt class weapons on Army theater vehicles. We need to have 300 kilowatt class weapons on Air Force tankers, Griffin said. We need to have megawatt class directed energy weapons in space for space defense. These are things we can do over the next decade if we can maintain our focus. U.S. production and employment has increased significantly, and Odin was developed to counter these threats. The Pacific Fleet Commander identified this urgent counterintelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance need and the Chief of Naval Operations directed us to fill it as quickly as possible, said Commander David Wolf, Program Executive Office Integrated Warfare Systems Directed Energy Office. Within the next couple of years, the Odin program will have all units operational within the fleet providing a safer and more technically advanced capability to the U.S. Navy. Lessons learned from Odin's installation on Dewey will inform installation on future vessels and further development and implementation of surface Navy laser weapon systems. Northrop Grumman to provide protected tactical SATCOM rapid prototype for the Space Force. Northrop Grumman Corporation has been selected by the U.S. Space Force's Space and Missile Systems Center to develop a protected tactical SATCOM PTS, rapid prototype payload for an on-orbit demonstration of assured tactical communications. The company was selected for the award through the Space Enterprise Consortium. Protected Tactical SATCOM PTS is the Space Force's planned next-generation anti-jamming satellite system, which will provide tactical communications for war fighters all over the world, including the polar regions, using the protected tactical waveform. As protected tactical SATCOM is developed, 
the Space Force plans to begin offering protected tactical waveform communications over the wideband global SATCOM system and later commercial satellite systems. Since the very first protected communications mission, Northrop Grumman has been advancing technology to stay ahead of threats and help ensure this mission enabling capability, said Cyrus Tuller, Vice President, Communications Systems, Northrop Grumman. Partnering with the Space Force, our team will demonstrate rapid prototyping by developing and delivering a protected tactical SATCOM payload to enhance anti-jamming capabilities for our nation's tactical forces. Space and Missile Systems Center's acquisition approach emphasized collaboration with Northrop Grumman to define and accelerate a program with streamlined processes, rapid prototyping and non-traditional suppliers. Leveraging four decades of developing and operating protected payloads to support next-generation protected SATCOM technology for contested environments, the company is using numerous non-traditional suppliers to help infuse more innovation and affordability into the life cycle of the program in areas such as cybersecurity, architecture and test. As the next generation in operational capability for the protected communications mission, protected tactical SATCOM will represent Northrop Grumman's capacity for rapid prototyping for quick deployment. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.